closing remarks, it's the end of the day, it's Friday. Have you had a good day? It looks like it's been, I'm sorry I wasn't here at the beginning, it looks like it's been a fantastic day. I'm afraid I've sort of joined a bit late in the day and wished I'd, wished I'd been here. Um, it's a fantastic theme for a conference. Just, want, uh, just to introduce myself, I'm Ruth Allen, I'm the direct, um, I was going to give you my old job title, there you go. I used to be a director of social work in the Mental Health Trust. But I'm, I'm now the Chief Executive of the British Association of Social Workers. So thanks very much for inviting me to say a few things at the end here. Um, the theme of your conference today is, complete, is very, very close to my heart. It's been very close to my heart and my practice through all the work that I've done in mental health. And I feel I've gone on a, on, on a real personal journey in understanding what it means to have a human rights focus in practice. And when I was a manager and I was a practice leader and professional leader. So um, to, to arrive today and to see this as the, as, the, as the topic of the whole day and seeing it as absolutely core to what we're about as social workers um, is uh, really heartening and, um, and very exciting actually. So I just wanted to say a few things, I won't keep you long, but um, just a few things about how we make a human rights approach um, to, to social work, absolutely core, central, sustained, sustainable, part of what we do, and, and really making practical difference in people's lives. And the first thing I wanted to say is, in many ways, if, if, if pr protecting and promoting people's human rights and enabling people to express their own rights and, and take control over their lives is what we're about, we really need to apply that to ourselves as a profession. We need to feel that we are empowered in what we do that we support each other, that we know what, we're, what our rights are in terms of what our expectations are as a profession. And that's not about sort of special pleading. Um, we're here primarily for the people we serve. But if we're not empowered as a profession, if we don't believe in ourselves, how do we believe in other people? And why will anybody believe in us if we don't believe in ourselves? And that's why days like this are so important, because they help us sustain and build our sense of uh, being together as a profession and our sense of common purpose. So I suppose the, key, the other key aspect for me is how we promote human rights uh, in alliance with people who use services and with families and carers. How do we build those alliances so that we're side by side with people who are using services who are struggling themselves to ensure their rights are met? And how do we make those alliances uh, more visible, stronger? And how do they inform our practice? And one of the things I'm very interested in, I was interested in it in my work in, in mental health uh, service delivery, I'm very interested in it now um, in, in, in Basra, is how we hear the voice of service users, but we actually use that to improve our practice on a kind of day-to-day -day basis. We take it as read that it's through those conversations about how our practice is helping people um, to protect their rights and helping to empower people that we learn to be better practitioners. And I suppose that's also about how you've been talking about social work and human rights, I think, in some really practical ways. I know I understood there was a very big workshop about the MCA, and not surprised that's a very big workshop. That's a really crucial aspect of our work. How do we use that piece of legislation and, and all the other important uh, recent pieces of legislation, such as the CARE Act, how do we turn that not into proceduralism, how do we get away from proceduralism and bureaucracy, but to actually use those through um, use those things as frameworks which allow us to really demonstrate our, our, how we turn relational social work into human rights based social work, how we promote people's citizenship um, in everything that we do. And it's something, I suppose, I'll just say a little bit about Baswa. I mean, Baswa is, um, uh, I've been there for three or four months now as Chief Executive of Baswa, so I'm kind of getting used to it and it's getting used to me. Um, and we've got lots of ambitions for the organisation as the professional association uh, and wanting to grow it, change it. It's growing really rapidly. And one of the things that's really uh, core to the heart of Basel is its code of ethics. And at, and at, it, and at its core, Basel is about promoting an ethical and human rights based approach to social work. And it's an international organisation, so it covers the whole of the UK, covers all the countries of the UK, and it's also part of the International Federation. 
And that's incredibly important to us because often when we see what's coming forward in terms of you know, current policy, the government of the day, well, if we knew what the government of the day was going to be from one week to the next, that would be quite interesting. That might be quite good. But what is coming forward from the current policy and current government, we put that in the context of what we know about ethical practice, human rights practice, about the human rights um, conventions that we're part of globally, not just within, not even just within the EU, but, it, but globally. And those things are really important to us as social workers that we understand them. So uh, human rights is at the core of what we do in Baswell, and I'm hoping it's absolutely at the core of what you do in day-to-day -day practice as well. So I'm glad you've had a fantastic conference. I'm hoping you're going away with lots of really practical ideas about how putting rights into practice can, can really happen in your services and some new skills and some new ideas and some, maybe some new friends as well because that's the whole point about coming to things like this. New people that you can, you can support and they can support you to build our human rights-led profession. So thank you very much.